And we will start in Uganda this morning and share with you what's on the Daily Monitor. It says there, Uganda safe despite UK terror alert. And that's by the Ugandan government uh, this morning. Also, it says here, global cartel hacks commercial banks, demands 3.6 billion shillings. Interesting. Um, a picture on your screen there, born to serve, Kabali Diocese uh, ordains four priests. Congratulations to them. And of course, uh, a rider to the story, the first story I took this morning, says, look out in a travel advisory posted on its website, the United Kingdom government noted that the terrorists are very likely to try, out, uh, to, try to carry out attacks in Uganda, but the army remains confident the country is in safe hands. If you remember, Uganda, of course, is still mourning those 42 kids uh, that lost their lives, uh, you know, to, uh, you know, well, terror attacks. Uh, 41, I believe, uh, kids that lost their lives after they were murdered. And we hope that the Ugandan government is able to bring their perpetra those perpetrators uh, to book. Um, one or two other stories this morning we can share here. It says Museveni's letter over Bukedia uh, by election stares Tesso. And the final story in relationships on a journey to end stigma against Vitiligo. Uh, that's Ooh, a very that. interesting conversation, yes. yes. I think it was June 16, that was World Vitiligo Day. Yeah. We'll come back to talk more about some of the stories that have made it to the front pages of the newspaper, but we'll go on a quick break, and when we come back, more on the top stories. Stay with us. Mm -hmm. 